Hi, and welcome to ClickUp. This webinar will take you through how to manage projects using ClickUp 3.0. I'm your host, Greg Mead. We'll be covering a lot of topics today, including some great features, both new in 3.0 and currently included in the platform. So let's get started. Kicking off in 3.0, check out the all new location overview at a space or a folder level. The location overview is a helpful tool for project managers to see a bird's eye view of your projects at any given location. The overview serves as a landing page of sorts for you and your location or your team. And you can even access all folders, lists, and docs within the location here. You can see recently created or accessed work, docs, such as project charters or wikis, as well as resources. What's great about resources is that you can upload all types of files from outside of ClickUp into the location overview. So if you have some content in Google or other important information like SOPs or SOW files, you can upload them here. You can even add folders or lists directly in the space by clicking the plus sign. Next, let's check out how you can start projects with a form. As part of ClickUp 3.0, Depending on your plan, you can edit a form and add conditional logic to it to help you get the information that you need to help with project intake. For example, let's say we want our projects to always connect to an OKR and support the goals of our organization. Let's add logic to require a form respondent to select the company OKR's custom field associated with the project when the IT operations department is selected. You can copy and distribute this form link to whomever you'd like, which can be the different teams across your organization. You can service or support the entire organization with a single form for intake here. When a respondent enters a response that matches the logic, the additional options will appear. Check out how the form looks when you're submitting it. Conditional logic creates a really smooth end user experience for all form respondents. Let's take a look at our projects in different views next. Starting off, the list view will display all of the tasks in your project that are grouped by statuses. When you click into a task's status, you'll see a new way to view the status progress. This is a new click app that can be enabled called Show Status Progress, and it helps you cultivate a linear workflow for your tasks using pie chart icons to show you the progression of your work. Also check out the board view. Now you can add swim lanes to your board to help you clearly see and manage your work. Add swim lanes that represent important aspects of your projects, such as assignees, phases, or whatever else you think fits. Now that we've shown you how to view your work in projects, let's talk about tasks. If you need to create new tasks and populate your projects, all you need to do is add a new task here or press the hotkey T. Once it's created, let's dive deeper into it. Click into a task from here to view all the details. The new task view 3.0 will open and you'll see a lot of great information here. As you can see, the layout is a little bit different from before. Some of the key features, such as assignee, status, custom fields, and relationships have shifted. ClickUp has designed a new task experience where you can get more work done faster. Something to call out here, if ClickUp AI is enabled, which is recommended, you can ask AI to do some great things. For example, you can ask AI to write a task description based on your task title. Or, if you have a task description already created, you can even ask AI to summarize it and condense it for you. To make it even easier to navigate and create work, ClickUp 3.0 has a subtask sidebar on the left where you can access subtasks or create them quickly. 
scroll down past the description and you'll also notice some tabs here, which is different from before. Now in the details tab, you can review all the details and custom fields and docs or attachments within a task. We've also sectioned out subtasks and action items so you can clearly track and resolve your work. Within the subtasks tab, you can enter all subtasks here and you can even ask AI to generate subtasks for you. AI will take all the task description and title details and come up with subtasks that you can choose to add to your task right from here. Something else to consider here is the right side panel. From here, you're able to comment like always. However, it's notable that watchers or followers are now represented by the bell icon at the top. You can easily tag or assign team members to comments and make sure that your projects run smoothly. One new callout on the right side panel is relationships or task links. If you have any closely related or connected work, or other teams are working on similar tasks, such as docs or any other tasks that you want to connect to your project, you can click the plus sign here and add a relationship. So if your marketing team is working on a similar task, you can add that here so you can kind of go between tasks and see the status of each task as needed. In the relationships panel, you can also add a URL you can link tasks, uh, you can set dependencies such as waiting on or blocking dependencies, or you can link docs. For example, let's link a project charter here. Now if you want to add a project charter or other project documentation such as meeting minutes, you can add them to the sidebar and access them quickly. ClickUp makes it easy for you to have all the information you need to manage your projects right at your fingertips. Okay, the last thing that we're going to talk about today is the Gantt view. Now this isn't uniquely new to 3.0, however it is crucial to help you manage your project timelines with ease. From the Gantt view, you can see all of your tasks in a bar form on the timeline, or you can always schedule them here on the timeline and add them as needed. You can click, hold, and connect your tasks together to create dependencies. This is a great way to help you establish and monitor your project plan and ensure that everything runs smoothly throughout your project's life cycle. This concludes the demo portion of today's session. Okay. Now let's open it up for some Q&A.